Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have the December Awards 2023 and we have a, a number of very interesting whiskies, even though we didn't do that many videos. So not that much to yeah. choose from. Um, yeah, and uh, I had a discussion with myself because I tasted <laughs> both of those whiskies. If the uh, Anok Peated Edition Sherry Cask Finish uh, gets the uh, Bronze Award, it's a wonderful bottle, but uh, I decided against it uh, because the second one, uh, which competes with this one for the uh, Bronze Award, uh, is the Dalwini 15 years of age. Ooh, and nice. This one is on the market since 1988. Uh, with the Classic Malls of Scotland series and it kept the 15 years of age and is always the same uh, and is a wonderful Highland whiskey. Whenever you would like to, to taste a Highland whiskey, the Dalwini 15 years is highly recommended. Uh, wonderful piece yeah. of work. We had been there quite, quite often because it uh, lies at the uh, the motorway going through the highlands and uh, this has warm tops. Yeah, I think it's the first distillery with warm tops. Uh, yeah, and it has the, one of the most beautiful pictures that we are showing on whiskey.com because you've visited it in winter at some point. So, so what, which month do you have to visit a distillery to see snow? So it was February. Okay. And uh, it was a Sunday. So we, we just passed the distillery. But uh, I said, well, just pull over and take some pictures. And there was nobody there in the distillery. The snow was untouched. Oh. And everything was covered in, a, uh, in two inches of snow. and sunny weather, blue sky, and it was so wonderful up there and so quiet. Uh, yeah, very, very impressive. Yeah, but also, uh, yeah, I think the best chance to get uh, a snowed in distillery is Dalvini because it's the highest distillery. Yeah, I think I remember it, but it, it's actually written on the bottom. Yeah, at the front. and it's wrong. Yeah, I think they 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 had something moves higher or something, yeah. but there was they had so like you know we're not the highest, but the highest of the something something more special is like yeah, yeah okay, yeah. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but it is very high up, yeah. and when you visit it in so February, far 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 above the snow line. Yeah, so you get snow in winter. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. So yes, you can get snow in the highlands. Yeah, but rest of Great Britain is an island pretty much without snow. <laughs> yeah. So second place is a very pleasant whiskey. It's the Aberfeldy 16 years of age. It's a nice um, whiskey with a nice round touch to it, a honey touch to it and just like every other Aberfeldy has that that smoothness, that creaminess and um, that is Aberfeldy but it's not the 12 year old, it's the jazzed up version. It's the 16 year old which ha just does. has much more. And sherry cask influence yeah. I think. Yeah, sherry cask influence mm. in it, yes. And yeah, it's definitely, they would like to get a gold because they are always, oh gold, gold, gold and it says awarded 24 gold medals for us. <laughs> <laughs> that is silver. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, Dalwini is priced uh, at 42 euros and it has been very stable for over three decades mm. um, and uh, last year's they went up a little bit. So the uh, Aberfeldy is priced at 62 euros and uh, the winner this year, uh, this month is Tobomori 25 years of age. It's 400 euros and it's a very special whiskey. It is a, uh, belongs to the uh, what's called the Hebridian series. Uh, it uh, originates on the Isle of Mull and there are these colors on the card boxes which remember the houses at the, sh uh, at the harbor line. Mm -hmm. Those are colored in uh, very intense uh, colors. And yeah, and this is a, a specialty from this. Uh, this is actually your blind spot, I think. You've not been to the distillery. No, yeah. not yet. <laughs> I've been to the distillery. I, I was the one that, uh, of us. When I wanted visited. to go, they yeah. had two years of maintenance yeah. work. Um, yeah, I, I actually had to postpone my tour because of maintenance. <laughs> the thing is, uh, they, have to, uh, they have a bit of a problem with maintenance because they are really remote. 
Mm-hmm. Um, Isle of Mull is really remote. It's a nice tourist uh, place. There is cruise ships going in and out there. And if you go there, you can take a ferry from south, uh, from Oban, I think. Mm-hmm. Or you can take it up from um, from the mainland, from the north. That is nice. The passenger ferry from Nagneen does not exist anymore. It's in Google, but it doesn't exist. There is no passenger ferry from, <laughs> from the mainland, from just the east. No, it's not there. And <laughs> a lot of people ask for it. Um, <clears throat> It's a very nice. It's a it's a medium sized distillery, but they are packed to the limit. Yeah. So the, and they the, have all the sizes of all the wash bags and mash tons is up to the very limits, and they are standing on the wall like that, <laughs> moving like this. <laughs> and it's uncolored, until filtered. Yeah, forty eight point one ABV. So wonderful. It's bottle. A Tobamori is a wonderful. Wonderful whiskey, yeah. 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 So that deserved uh, the Tobomori 25 is the December Gold Award of 2023, and now we are sticking our heads together to find out which whiskey was the best whiskey of the year 2023 for the yeah year awards of whiskey.com. So stay tuned; it will this be up. Will be a hefty discussion. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it will be a hefty discussion, and we have a lot to choose from. Mm-hmm. A lot of good yeah. whiskeys. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching. And see you next time.